Oh, well, well, welcome to New York Sports Wicker Media. I'm Watt 2K99. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to watch these videos. I had to come on record because I am pumped up as a New York Rangers fan. They have made a trade to acquire Vladimir Tarasenko, the high-scoring winger from the St. Louis Blues. He is coming over. Now, here are the terms of the trade. The Rangers get Vladimir Tarasenko, defenseman uh, Nico Mikola who is a left-handed stay-at-home defenseman. The Rangers have been looking for that sixth defenseman to fill in that spot. They've tried a whole bunch of guys. They've tried Libor Hayek. They've tried Ben Harper. You know, they've tried Zach Jones. Nobody has really taken the job, so they're going to give Nico Mikola a shot. So those are the two pieces coming over to New York. In return, the St. Louis Blues are not only retaining 50% of Tarasenko's salary, but they, the Rangers are giving up a first-round pick, a fourth-round pick, Sammy Blay, and Hunter Skinner. So let's go into those players a little bit. Hunter Skinner is a minor league defenseman, maybe in the Rangers' top five defensive prospects, maybe, but behind Zach Jones, behind Matthew Robertson, we could deal with that. Sammy Blay came over from the Blues in the Pavel Buchnevich trade, and he was looking pretty good for his first season, but ever since he got hurt, after P.K. Subban slew-footed him and basically destroyed his knee a over a year ago, he's just never been the same player. It's an unfortunate story but now he's going back to St. Louis. I wish him nothing but the best. Now the fourth round pick is going to become a third round pick if and should I say when the Rangers make the playoffs. So just count on it being a third. And as far as the first round pick goes, the Rangers actually have two, their own and Dallas's first round pick, which they got in the Niels Lundqvist trade. So St. Louis will get whichever the lower pick is, whichever the worst pick is, that's the one they're going to get. So the Rangers will keep the better first round pick. I love it. And by the way, the 50% uh, on uh, Tarasenko's salary, it's $7.5 million. The Blues retain that. Now, in corresponding moves, Will Cooley, their young forward, has been assigned to AHL Hartford, and Libor Hayek has been placed on waivers. Now, here's what's interesting about that waiver situation. Once Hayek is either claimed or clears waivers, the Rangers are left with a million dollars in salary cap space. Now in hockey, you've got the accrual process, so over time that money can grow. By the March 3rd trade deadline, that could grow to about $1.6 million. So if Chris Drury feels this team needs another tweak, he could make another minor move. He could bring in one more depth player for $1.6 million. Tyler Mott, Tyler Mott, Tyler Mott, bring back Tyler Mott. But this was their biggest uh, move. They needed help at right wing for sure. And the amazing thing is he didn't sacrifice an impact player on the roster or his top prospects. I am super impressed by that. Now, how is Tarasenko doing? Well, uh, this year he's played 38 games, 10 goals, 19 assists, minus 18. Uh, so it's down quite a bit from last year. Last year he had uh, 82 points and uh, 34 goals and 48 assists. But he has a great track record. And here's the other thing. He's an excellent playoff performer. In 90 career playoff games, Tarasenko has scored 41 goals. And I'll tell you another thing I really like. He's played with Artemi Panarin before. They have played together for the Russian national team, and now they reunite. So Jury is banking on reuniting those two players, you know, sort of firing each other up. And when you've got a great center in the middle like Mika Zibanejad, Oh my goodness, what a top line that could be. That could be one of the most potent top lines in all of hockey, in all seriousness. So you have that as your top line, and then after that, you know, you have to keep the kid line intact with Hedl in the center, Lafreniere on the left side, Capo Caco on the right. Uh, your third line can be Vinny Trocek, Jimmy Vc on the right, Chris Kreider on the left. And now with your fourth line, uh, you know, Julian Gauthier probably at right wing. I think Barkley Goodrow would probably play the left side, and Probably Jake LeCision uh, in the middle, most likely, is what I uh, think would probably happen. Uh, may not have an ideal fourth line left wing, but you know what? That's that's totally okay with me. Uh, I love this move and uh, what they were able to get and the fact that they really didn't sacrifice a whole heck of a lot. 
And uh, by the way, with um, Mikola, he he's uh, he's just a stay-at-home defenseman. Plays 16 minutes a game, uh, three points in 50 games. I think he, he's there. Six foot five, pretty big boy. He's really designed to be that steadying presence alongside the youngster Braden Schneider on that third line. So you just play him 15 minutes per game. You hope he he gives the defense a steady, dependable presence. As long as he's doing that. I'm, I'm good. So I am super happy about this trade. I want to know your thoughts. Leave them in the comments. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you back here with more content once I'm back in the wicker chair.